What's up, LS gang? It's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another lit ass video. Well, it's not a lit ass video, but it's just a talking video. Um, I'm back with another talking. I'm I'm back. I'm back with another talking video. Um, back with my talks with Sass in the car. I gotta move this out the way. Um, hopefully that stays like that. But yeah, I'm currently at work. Um, yeah, I've been going through this path where I'm just trying to focus on myself, trying to get myself together, trying to heal properly, trying to self-reflect, <clears throat> trying to be the better version of myself, and just trying to live my life um, with no regrets. I'm trying to achieve so much for myself. I'm trying to accomplish so much more for myself, um, and I have so many goals, you guys. Um but I wanted to talk about self-reflecting and self-healing, self-worth, self-confidence, all of that in between. Um, I probably won't touch on the self-confidence. It'll probably be another video. But and I'll probably get you guys to ask me some questions. Y'all gotta be a little bit more active on my YouTube. I mean, y'all gotta be a little bit more active on my Instagram. And my Instagram is the gorgeous underscore sassy underscore underscore. And then my backup page is the life under no, it's the underscore life of sassy i think i believe but i'm gonna put it down in the comments and it is gonna be brief but um i want to talk about self-reflecting so that's what this video is about self-reflecting y'all we got another patient they be bringing these patients in and in and in but i want to talk about self-reflecting so um, I started my journey about self-reflecting and self-healing and self-worth um, about 2019, probably to the uh, like summer 2019 is when I started my process, um, maybe about August or, or probably August of 2019. Um, something happened with me and a friend and I started to... Uh, figure out why why I was like always the one that's getting messed up or why I was always the one that's just being targeted why I was always the one that had to get the back end of the the you know the back burner of the the back burner or always had to get the the end of the stick when it comes to certain situations and I figured out why and I think it's because people like me we have big hearts or genuine hearts or we have yeah, we have genuine, pure intentions when it comes to certain people. And I feel like um, it's not worship or it's not given the way we give it out. Um, a recent situation I haven't touched on. But I had to cut off a few people this year. 2020 has been something. Something. It has been something. That's the word I can something that's the word i can that's the word but um i had to cut off so many people and it's because of me seeing me seeing so of course i'm watching um no for sure podcast with b simone and megan ashley they're two best friends which reminds me of me and my best friend um and i love that podcast so much because when they first talk when they first open up the intro they say we talk about healing evolving evolution you know all kinds of stuff like the well-being you know aspect um not so much of pop culture and i love that and that's what i'm working on healing and growth and all kinds of things and being able to grow i have to change my dynamic in friends and group circles and being that i didn't see it seeing the warning signs of friends and seeing the warning signs of when people will mess over me, when people will use me, when people will talk down. When something like that happens, I start to feel ill intent about it. I start to feel bad about it. Um, it starts to weigh on me. Like I start to overthink it, overthink the situation. I want to constantly talk to this person and hash this out. I want to 
you know, be cool with this person again, or I want to be able to have a mutual, uh, you know, agreement, a mutual, con a mutual friendship, friend dynamic with that person that I had cut off. But in this aspect of these couple of people that I had to cut off this year, it wasn't like that. Um, and I started to see it, and it's just knowing and seeing the warning signs or the red flags and knowing when to leave it oh that's what i was saying the the podcast taught me about platonic relationships and they said i never knew what platonic relationship is it's just a a, a a relationship you have with a person that it that isn't intimate but it's still a relationship and that's how i treat my friend group um i treat them as a relationship and you're supposed to work and grow evolve mature in that relationship and um that's how i go about my friendships and i value them to the core like i can cut i can stop talking to a dude that i've been talking to for a couple of months and be good but my friends like down to the t the ones that's true to me and value to and add value to me i love and respect them to infinity but the people I had to cut off, I had to understand that it's okay to not have them in your corner. And I, I see I'm still stuck in between, like, me reaching out, me me talking to them. But I feel like, and I've talked to my mentor about this, um, that I feel like it wouldn't get anywhere. Um, and it's not so much of closure, because I talked to my mentor about this, and she said closure is an illusion. It's, you know... It's about self-reflecting, and which I said I had been working on. So, but yes, up here, or up here, I'll pop up the definition of self-reflecting. But in my opinion, or in my own words, self-reflecting, or self-reflection, is um, reflecting within, basically. So, reflecting within so you look at yourself and you self-reflect or you self-evaluate yourself within um how why did i do that why did i say that why were why were those words why why did i choose those selective words um why you know why in my heart why why is my heart the way it is why or like you just you start to self reflect like look at Brittany. I wish she was on. But you start to <laughs> you start to self reflect on yourself and start to self evaluate yourself. And I had to do that a lot because um I wanted to know why am I the target all the time? Like you know, always getting messed over, or always extending the extending the olive branch, or always talking, or always valuing my friendships to the core, and it's not reciprocated. And that's another thing. I'm going into this new year. I need to self-reflect a little bit more, self-evaluate a little bit more, and um, choose when to allow certain energies and certain things in my presence, and choose when not to. Um, when knowing when energy is reciprocated towards me the right way, and knowing when it's not reciprocated to me in the wrong way. Um. Or in the right way, if that makes sense. I think I give so much of my all. Like, I go above and beyond. Not saying that they asked me to. Or not saying that I needed to. Or not saying because I do do this so much because I want this friendship to work. But I do it because that's just the person I am. I go so hard for that. For the people who are in my corner. Because I want to see them win. I want to see them accomplish. I want to see them evolve. I want to see them grow as an individual and as a person and as my friend as this relation this friend relationship this friendship or friend however you want to put it um and i had to i i really had to focus on that so with that being said um i'm gonna do another way i'm gonna do another video like this um soon um and maybe it could be a little mukbang but um and maybe i'll have my best friend i still have to drop the video with me and my best friend but um that's going to be another that's going to be one of my main goals is going into the new year so i ask my patients all the time 
um, going into the new year, um, what's something you want to gain, what's something you want to earn, what is something you want to learn, what is something you want to take from going into the new year, something that, that you want, something you, you want to take to help you going into the new year, like it don't have to be a goal, it can be an object, it can be a person, it can be, you know, this, but I know my goal for sure going into the new year is to not give not give energy to where it not give the right energy to the wrong people um that's one um not give energy to the wrong energy that's two and if my love if my giving if my respect if my everything is isn't reciprocated the way i give it then i'm gonna remove myself and i have to cut it off because it starts to affect you and I'm going to touch basis on the incidents that I'm talking about. I'm not going to say a name, but I'm going to say an incident, the incident, and see what you guys think. Um, but I just wanted to share that. Um, that's something I'm working on, and that's something that it, it bothers me. Um, and it only bothers me because these are people who I've known since 12, 13, 14 years old. And seeing how people can drastically change and you just be like wow like out of the blue out of the blue and it it, it it catches you off guard and it have you at wow it just have you at wow like disbelief like like this was never a person and and that's my thing right there before i end it that's my thing right there um being that i am this type of person I'm talking, I'm just, I'm, I'm chatting it the fuck up. I'm chatting it the fuck up, I know. But being that I am this type of person, um, I forgot, see my train of thought. See, she just be wrangling in my head. What the fuck was I about to say? Um, I don't know what the hell I was about to say, but um, I'm going to do another video like this um, soon. I don't know when. And then I'll, you know, share a little bit here and there. And I'm also going to do a couple of more videos. I got a prank coming on the way. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to drop this today. I'm going to drop this today. Because this was just something brief, something to talk about. But um, I got a prank. Today is, uh, and I'm on my phone, y'all. So I don't know how the quality is. But my camera is at home. Bit today is Tuesday. The prank is coming tomorrow. And I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I don't know if I want to do it on one one day and one on the other day, but I'm. This is gonna be on my coworkers, y'all. Um, and it's so crazy because I'm gonna show y'all what she, what my supervisor said. Pop it up right either right there or right there. And it's like she was in my mind because I don't know how she knew, but I was about to prank both of them at the same time. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get both of them. I'm going to have to get both of them at the same time. I need both of their reaction. But thank y'all for listening to me if y'all stay tuned until this 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 point on. Thank y'all for listening to me. Thank y'all for subscribing. Keep subscribing. Make sure you tell everyone that you're around to subscribe. Keep subscribing. Tell them to like the previous videos. Comment their favorite part. Watch it. Comment the, um, Watch it. Comment their favorite part. And watch this video like it comment your favorite part and give me some tips um and yeah give me some tips about self-reflecting or self-evaluating um in a situation where you had to self-reflect or you know yeah a situation where you had to self-reflect or self-evaluate yourself um and see if it was effective or not but thank y'all for watching and i love you guys ls gang 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 yeah